what you see here with me is my uh, <laughs> carefully arranged business bookshelf. As you can see, I've gone for color rather than alphabet as the guiding principle. And one of the cool things about my life is that thanks to my role as a mentor in the thought leaders community, and thanks to the fact that my wife and her brother run a publishing company, a lot of the books on this bookshelf are written by people who are actual personal friends of mine. So I decided I would launch an experiment it may be that I do this every week or every month, and it may be that this is the only time I ever do it, but the experiment is I'm going to open up a book by, written by one of my friends and pick out a couple of things that I really love about it. And I'm not necessarily doing a book review. That's not really the point. Uh, the point is simply to take a couple of great ideas from the book in any of the domains uh, in which I'm interested. So it could be leadership or communication or public speaking or engagement or entrepreneurialism or even like the act of writing and publishing books because I'm into that too. Uh, and the first cab off the rank in this potential series of videos is Talk Like a Leader by my friend Louise Thompson. Uh, so Louise sent me this book uh, which she wrote over the last summer period when I was running an elective in the Thought Leaders community called How to Write a Book. And so I get to take a tiny little bit of credit for this book. Uh, it, it sort of happened under my watch, even though I contributed not a single word to this book. I, I, I feel like I was kind of there with Louise, holding her hand as she went through the process of creating this book. Um, and as you can see, a wonderful looking book it is too. And so I want to pick a couple of things out of it that I really like. And uh, there are two things in Louise's talk, talk Like a Leader that I really love. And the first one is super, super simple. She talks about how there are kind of three ways to express leadership or, or three kind of uh, kinds of leader that you can be. And it's not that you can't be all three kinds of leader, but like one of them is sort of your, your primary leadership focus. And she calls them talkies, walkies, and chalkies. <laughs> so you can talk leadership, you can walk leadership, and you can chalk leadership. And obviously what she's saying is you can kind of lead out loud, you can lead by example, and you can lead uh, in the written form, you know, whether it be emails or any kind of written communication. And the reason I love this talk, walk, and chalk is the fact that it takes this idea and makes it incredibly memorable. She's turned this idea that there are three kind of aspects of leadership that matter, and she's just given it three words which are really, really memorable. I've said it now a couple of times, talk, chalk, and walk. I reckon you might remember that in a day or a week or a month. So Louise has just spent a little bit of effort taking an idea and making it a little more elegantly memorable. And as a result, I reckon that idea is going to be much more useful and much more powerful because I'm way more likely to remember it when it matters. So leadership, talk, chalk, walk. <laughs> Pretty cool. The second thing that I really love about Louise's book, Talk Like a Leader, is I think a lot of books, I was going to say make the mistake of, but that would be incorrect. I think a lot of books choose to be something of a... Um, like a record of a particular idea. So the purpose of the book is to take an idea or an, a collection of ideas that are in the author's head and kind of create a written record, a written communication of those ideas, which is a perfectly valid reason for writing a book. And I think there can be other reasons. And what I love about the way Louise has written this book is it's very clearly not a book she's written so that you understand what she's thinking. It's a book that she's written so that you have a better chance of exploring and understanding what you're thinking. She's written a book designed to provoke your thoughts and have you explore what it is you think and kind of get to know yourself better. And I think that is enormously powerful, not just in a book, but in any form of leadership and engagement. I reckon one of the most common mistakes that people make, whether they're writing a book or preparing for a speech on stage or designing a training program to teach a set of skills, one of the biggest, most common mistakes that people make is they come at it from a purely uh, self-focused orientation. They start by thinking, what do I think about this topic? What do I want to say? It's all about me and what I think and how I'm going to communicate that out. And I think Louise has taken the opposite orientation as the genesis for writing her book. She said, 
what are other people out there currently experiencing as leaders and how what could I put into a book that would help them explore that? And I love that orientation flip. I love the idea that when you write a book, you think about the audience before you think about yourself. I love the idea that when you design a training program, you think about the students before you think about the teacher. I love the idea that when you prepare for a speech, you think about the audience and what they're thinking and what they're feeling and what matters to them before you commit any thought to what you're actually gonna say on stage. Louise Thompson's book, Talk Like a Leader. I haven't fully digested it yet, but I've already taken a couple of gems from the exercises and the activities that are contained in this book. Um, and I think a lot of people will find it really useful. So thank you, Louise, for sending me a copy. And uh, I look forward to seeing you have a big impact out in the world, uh, helping others have a big, big impact through the ideas they explore in your book. Cheers.